Hi, I'm Hesh and I'm the product manager here at Orgreen Optics. Today we're coming at you from Copenhagen, Denmark, and we're going to talk about how Orgreen acetate frames are made. Acetate is probably the most common material used for making optical frames. The acetate raw material starts with cotton and wood pulp. It is processed together and combined with plasticizers which give the acetate its characteristics. The main characteristics that make acetate a really good material for optical frames is that it is bendable and shapeable so the optician is able to give the finished frame a custom fit to the wearer's face. The coloring of the acetate material is virtually limitless. You can do amazing colors and solids and translucents. You can do Havanas and different patterns. So the designer is able to create whatever the imagination can come up with. Once the acetate sheets are finished, they are cut into slabs. These slabs are then loaded into five axis CNC milling machines. Through a series of milling processes, the acetate slabs are milled into the front shape of the frame. First starting with the inside eye shape and then continuing with the outside edge and the nose shape. Various milling bits are used to add radius to the outside edge or different design details. After milling the front shape, the fronts are loaded into a tumbling machine and through a process of tumbling similar to a drying machine with various chips to remove the hard edges and surfaces of the acetate material. The next step is to add the face curve or the bending to the front of the frame. This is done through a process of pressing the eye shape and eye curvature into the frame. Optical hinges are then mounted to the front of the frame. Additional tumbling is done to the front. Before tumbling, plastic caps are put on the hinges to protect the hinges during the tumbling process. The temple shape is cut out of the acetate slabs through a stamping process. This gives the external shape of the frame. Through different milling processes on the CNC milling machine, the temple shape is given the radius and the curves and the design details. A wire core needs to be inserted into the temple shape. This wire core is required to help the temple hold its shape and allow the optician to custom fit the temple. At Orgreen, we use custom wire cores that allow the designer to give a custom pattern to both the inside and the outside of the wire core material. There are different stages of polishing that are done throughout the production process to both the fronts and the temples. A soft cloth polishing wheel is used to polish and buff the surface of the acetate to remove any scratches and to do fine tuning of the acetate material. After the first polishing stages, the temples and the fronts are tumbled again to remove any minor imperfections in the acetate material. Now let's talk about the assembling and the finishing of an Orgreen acetate frame. The temples and the fronts are then assembled together by screwing the hinges together. So after the temples have been mounted to the front of the frame, this is one of the key polishing steps. The alignment of the top and bottom and front surfaces where the front end piece and the temple come together is critical that it is kind of seamless and flush. That is a key component of a high quality, well-made or green acetate frame. The final fine polishing stage is done to remove any small hairline scratches, wavy surfaces, or imperfections. The final finishing stage is a combination of printing the details on the inside of the temple, laser engraving of the or green logo, edging and mounting of the demo lenses, and then the key and final step is the fitting and adjustment to make sure that the fit of the frame matches the technical drawing and the desired fit. A key factor in making high quality acetate frames is starting with super high quality acetate material, hinges, and wire core materials. This combined with the accuracy and precision of the molds, the holding tools, and the fixtures used for the milling processes, the mounting of the hinges, are also a key component to making sure all of the parts come out to the strict tolerances that are required. The knowledge and skill of the factory workers is also extremely important. Making sure they understand the high quality product that we require allows them to make the parts, make the frames, assemble the frames, and finish the frames to the demanding specifications that we have for an Orgreen acetate frame. The polishing of an acetate frame is one of the most important production steps in the entire process. The polishing worker is one of the highest skilled and highest paid employees in the entire factory. 
these Japanese polishing masters that we use for polishing or green acetate frames had been working at the factory for more than 20 years, perfecting his skill and his craft. The Japanese people have a deep history and culture and understanding of quality, and it's those virtues which make the workers at the factory such a key component of our high quality or green acetate frames. Thanks for watching today. If you want to get more information about the or green acetate frames, go to our website. And stay tuned for more new and exciting videos to come.